Welcome to the channel of Coach Ambler Thick. Today I talk about how to increase spin in your table tennis shot. Serve, loop, push, forehand top spin, backhand flip. Jason asked me, I'm so happy and thankful about your videos. I have a question to you about how to generate a lot of spin in the service like the Chinese players. This is a very interesting question. The Chinese philosophy says that there are three aspects of a table tennis shot, spin, speed and power. Spin is the most important of these three terms. The spinny ball but slow is not powerful. The fast ball without spin is not powerful. The powerful ball is the ball loaded of spin and speed. Lu Guolun always mentioned this aspect of, as the quality of the shot. Due to the difference in philosophy between Western countries and China, the approach in table tennis is different for low-level coaching only. In China, they focus first in spin. The beginner player are asked to spin the ball in their first lessons. These lessons are crucial as the beginner player learn to develop their stroke and their feeling of the ball. For the young kids, the ball can land not very far not very dangerous, but at this stage, you must learn to spin the ball, as without spin, you can't control the ball. When you improve your technique and develop a good mechanics of stroke, you can now focus on the speed and power in next step without sacrifice of the spin. Look at the quality of Sue Feng's ball, always very spinny. He is the top regional level. His ball is also very powerful and fast. The ball lands almost near the end of the table. And at the world top level, look at the ball Zhang Jiku. His ball is very very spinny and always land at the borderline of the table. It is very difficult to return his ball. The quality is very good, spin, fast and powerful. In Western countries, the approach is different. Some amateur players just look at the pro table tennis equipment but don't focus enough in how to spin the ball. At the beginning stage, they already use a fast to very fast blade. They never have enough time to develop a full mechanics of the stroke. They can't hit the ball very hard because if they hit hard, the ball without speed will mostly go out of the table. The stroke is short and is not fully developed. By using a very fast equipment, the training is less efficient. Remember, in the training stage, feeling of the ball is the most important. I will show you the best way to improve your spinning strokes by borrowing these two diagrams. The first approach is you must learn how to spin the ball first and then learn how to increase the speed in the next step. Focus on spin and how to control the ball. To increase the speed, you must increase your physical strength, more important, and then upgrade the equipment only when you reach the limit in physical strength. Your level goes up, now you can hit harder. The ball is faster, spinnier, and land farther on the table. To upgrade the equipment, upgrade the rubber first. Choose faster, harder rubber. Don't change the blade first, it can disrupt your playing style. If the speed is not enough, upgrade progressively the speed of the blade. That's why the equipment of top Chinese players always end up with a very hard and tacky rubber, but only off minus to off blade. The second approach, which is preferred in Western countries, focus first on the speed by using a very fast blade, off to off plus plus blade, carbon blade, but the ball has not enough spin. Without spin is the same as without control, which can lead to lack of confidence and many unforced errors. The player can't hit hard and therefore can't develop a full mechanism of stroke. 
I play table tennis in Europe, so I know clearly this problem. In some clubs, the coach just say, hey, let's do some reels on the table, but never even explain this principle to the new players. So the question is, how to spin the ball? How to increase the spin in table tennis stroke? The only and the one key point to spin the ball is acceleration. There is a good question on pin skill, speed or acceleration for more spin. And the coach answer, the critical factor is how much time you have and how long your swing can be. It seems to me that this question is not fully explained. Coach Larry Hodge also discussed about how to increase speed in table tennis. He said, You get far more speed if you accelerate into the ball. But you only get this speed if you raise the ball. Too often, players sink the ball into the sponge, but not graze, grazing the ball enough. Why? Why acceleration is so much important? There are two main reasons. Table tennis is not tennis. The ball is very light, only 2.7 grams. A young player with a medium physical strength can become a world champion. Tomokazu Haributo is the world junior table tennis champion at the age of 13. His ball is very fast and spinny. It is not because he hits the ball very strong, but it is because he can accelerate the ball very fast. It is not how hard you hit the ball, but it is how fast you hit the ball in a short amount of time will decide the amount of spin. Second, the contact occurs only in a fraction of a second. To spin the ball, you must apply force during this moment. The ball touch the rubber. You continue to apply the force by acceleration. The rubber is compressed and release this power to speed the ball. All of this process occurs very fast. That's why the more you accelerate, the more power is transferred to speed the ball. Mr. Leo has translated the article, the physics behind a powerful forehand look in a table tennis magazine into English. The pulling fox is the key for the conduction of a player's body fox to his battle. A player should use his body fox to power the stroke while keeping his arm relaxed for fine control. I have explained this principle previously, relax before hitting the ball, body fox rotation from the hip, power from the ground, grip the ball loosely. You can see that these principles are also confirmed by the scientific research. Keeping the extended arm length fixed before hitting the ball is important for improving the speed and acceleration of the paddle. And the tension in the arm should be raised at the moment of hitting the ball. When the paddle hits the ball, its kinetic energy is reduced, which shortens the time the paddle could have used to push and create spin on the ball. Kojima also published an article in the Journal of Sports Science Kinematics of table tennis top spin forehand effects a performance level and ball spin. The contribution of joint rotation to the racket speed, the racket kinematics at ball impact, the time required for racket acceleration, and the maximum racket speed time were determined. 
The advanced player show a significantly larger contribution of low trunk axle rotation to the rocket speed at impact and significantly larger value as mass and tended to require less time for rocket acceleration than the intermediate player. The rocket speed at impact was not significantly different between the two players' groups, the player at just and the result suggest that the ability to accelerate the rocket in less time in top spin forehand is an important factor that affects the performance level. Very interesting result, the rocket speed at impact of the advanced players and intermediate players are not significantly different. The ability to accelerate the rocket in less time is an important factor that affects the performance level. This result is also cited in another research. The ability to accelerate the rocket rapidly during forward spin is an important factor for increasing ball speed and spin. Vogling Cern, master in steps, coach Boxif also analyzed this aspect. Dans ce sport qui privilégie la vitesse et l'anticipation, la rapidité d'exécution du geste et de la capacité à la reproduire à haute vitesse et à haute fréquence vont être primordiales. Il semble intéressant pour le pongiste d'être capable d'accélérer. Le pouvoir d'accélération de la raquette lors d'un coup est un facteur de performance importante dans ce sport car il induit une augmentation de la vitesse et de l'effet de la balle. It is worth noting that the speed and spin does not come only from the rubber, they come also from the blade and the technique. The blade helps you to transfer the force from the stroke to the rubber. The technique requires you to make a follow-through and rotate your hip. The follow-through occurs from the moment the ball touches the racket to the moment before the ball leaves the racket. The follow-through is the main force that makes the ball go forward which contribute mainly to the speed of the ball. That means at the moment of contact, you should accelerate to speed the ball and you should also rotate your hip to make a follow through to increase the speed. Rotating your hip is faster than snapping your forehand and will definitely help you to accelerate at the moment of contact. Furthermore, the mechanics of this action will lift the ball and make the ball go forward. The lift fox also speed the ball. Fix the position before hitting the ball. Hit the ball very fast at a short amount of time. Use the hip to transfer this fox. Continue to follow through to make the ball go forward. Now you understand the best way to improve in table tennis. You also understand why the Chinese technique is superior. The use of the hip power from the ground, relax before hitting, explode at the moment of hitting. I have explained this tip in the previous video. And today I show you some scientific research about this aspect. So please remember, spin is the key in table tennis. To make the ball spin, think about acceleration. In your training sessions, try to accelerate at the moment of contact in your shot. Top spin, back spin, push, flip, backhand, top spin, counter loop, aggressive block chop. You will realize that the quality of your shot increased dramatically. You can also do much more easier now some shot, for example, backhand flip on the table that, that struggled you before. That's it for today. 
And the final word I also say to my players, in spin we just. See you next Sunday, coach and Rafik.